I'm not a morning person. Dedicated to being passionate about it. Bodybuilders have become more lazy. People have always thought I lift fake weights. Iran and the United States. You take, you take responsibility for that. What did you take on off seasons? Um, athletes uh, during the off season, um, some get a very out of shape. Some, you know, what I mean, what, what's sort of like the general rule that you follow with your clients? Well, again, I mean, if if we want to try to be as healthy within a sport that's not healthy, I would try to keep fat gain that's not driving performance to a to a minimum. Um, and, and again, the fatter you are within bodybuilding realm, within you know, holding water, the worse your blood pressure is going to be. So I really try to keep guys where they're continuously able to be sensitive to food and get a food response. And what I mean by that is it doesn't take 45 minutes for them to get a pump in the gym. Um, their pump doesn't fade when they're in the peak of their off season, because if that's the case, your body is not utilizing nutrients as it should anymore. So I really like to kind of look at the individual. Some people like myself kind of disperse fat all over their body. Some people might have the, the holding spots like in their glutes and their lower back. So I look at where their holding spots are and I try to keep that to a minimum, either dispersed throughout or in those trouble spots more so. I actually wanted to ask you about this. So some people store fat in like specific areas, right? Like uh, men struggle with love handles, lower belly fat, even chest, you know what I'm saying? Like it's impossible to isolate that, right? To, to uh, I spot, spot treat the, the, right? It's impossible to do that. Right. So what's the, what's the right approach to like lose fat, basically? Is it, is it cardio, combinational diet? Well, tip, typically speaking, if somebody has, you know, those quote-unquote trouble spots, I like to diet them a little bit longer because it's it, you have to navigate, for example, if their lower back holds a lot of fat, but their legs are very lean. You have to navigate that very cautiously because you don't want to diet off tissue in their legs to get the back fat off. You know, so it you can't spot reduce, you know, your body is systemically going to lose fat how it wants to lose fat. But if you give those areas more time to come down, not only are you going to give it more time for the fat to be lost, but actually for the skin around it to harden up and, and, and pull back in. So I just like to allow a little bit more time because you can't just drive again, like perfect example of somebody that has no fat on their quads, but they hold in their lower back. If you just drive that person into the ground, they're always going to shave tissue off their legs and sure, the back might come in, but then you've also lost the taper of the legs. So it's it's a balance there. And how do you do that? Just with diet? Just just dieting it out? Yeah, I mean, it's just a longer diet, paying attention to them. And, and also, when I diet people, I'm not just pulling food and pulling food. I'm trying to keep you know, metabolism as high as I can within it potentially down-regulating during a diet. So I do like to feed people up pretty regular to keep that metabolic function higher. Do you think in general, when it comes to bodybuilding, right, some people say bodybuilding was the same in the 70s, 80s, it's just basically, uh, you know, it's the same concept of bodybuilding. And some people say it's been evolving. In your opinion, do you think, what, what do you think bodybuilding is heading as far as the training aspect of it and the scientific developments that has been happening? I, I think we're on a, a shift for the better as of late. Um, I think people are being more, have, having more intent into following periodization, uh, driving up and, and, and really monitoring their loads, making sure that they're driving their loads up. So I, I am encouraged by the current climate. There's so many guys out there right now within bodybuilding that are training hard, that are training right. Um, Hunter Labrada, Ian, Nick, James Hollingshead. Like there's so many guys that you can watch right now that are doing things the right way, that are driving progress in the right way, driving performance in the right way. Like I'm really encouraged by that. Um, and then obviously, I mean, like, there's other guys that, that always have worked hard, but I'm just saying the current trend of younger guys, I think are doing things right. And just, and giving a good example, even Chris Bumstead, like what Chris has done to his physique over the past 12 months, it just shows that if you really prioritize the right things within training, that incredible things can happen.